Hi everyone, this is Mukundan Raghavan. Today we are going to see duct typing in Python. So this topic I chosen because the name itself looks very funny. And just I wanted to know what is duct typing in Python. So let's see about what is duct typing. So understanding of duct typing. A duct typing in computer programming is an application of the duct test. A simple way you can take this quote or the funny quote. If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it must be a duck. So what does it mean is, by the actions you are deciding the name of that. So if it walks like a duck and if quacks like a duck, then that should be a duck. So that's what the understanding of duck typing. So based on the action, you are mentioning the name or the type, but not based on the type, you are mentioning the actions. So to determine if an object can be used for a particular purpose with the normal typing, suitability is determined by an object types. In normal other languages, if you send any reference, that should be with any type. So based on the type only, we will be using the methods or the variables from that class, right? But in duct typing, a object suitability is determined by the presence of certain methods and properties rather than the type of the object itself. So it looks little confusing. So what does it mean is if object has that method or the properties, then that can be used as the reference. So to be precise, we can see the sample code to understand further. This is an actual code available in the Wikipedia. So first you will see the class duck. So it has the method of fly or in Python, you will tell us a function. So it has the fly function. And it has only one line of code that is duck fly. And next one class airplane. So it has the function fly. And it has only one line of display. And next class whale. So it has the method of swim. And it has one line of whale swimming. So next one. So next function is lift off. Then we have one entity we are passing. Here we don't have the type. Here we are passing only the entity. So which type of objects we can we send it here, entity? So whatever the objects we can send, that should have the fly method. So does not matter which class or which reference, nothing. So if it has the fly method, then we can send that entity. So just we will check it because in above three classes, the last one whale has self, it does not have the fly. And remaining thing has the fly method or the fly function. So by using lift off function, we can send duck and aeroplane. If we send the whale, since it does not have the fly method or the fly function, it will fail. Okay. So that's what here, the entity, any object you can send it, considering that it has the fly. Let's say if the entity has some other method, then whatever the object we are sending, that class should have this both methods. So we will see the code as well. Just I'm going to the IDLE. The same code we will take it and execute how it goes. First, I will create the classes one by one. So in this point, we have created three classes. And I'm defining the function here. So now we can call this function by using the entity. This object, we can send any object. So we will create objects for these three classes. So now we have three classes and its objects ready. And we have one function which requires one object. So just I'm calling the method with the duck object, duck flying. So it is eligible. 
the next one we will call the lift off method with the aeroplane object so it is also fine so let's call this method with will so we are getting the error right so let's see so what we can do is like will has what method swim method so we will create one method Actually, we'll create one function. Just one minute. So I'm defining the new function here. So let's see lift off two, and then the function goes with entity dot swim. So we define the function here. So let's say lift off two and now it has to have only swim so i can pass the whale object so whale swimming so this is what actually based on the methods and the variables what we are using inside the function so based on only we can send any object through that so this is called duck typing the actual name is the reason we saw right so if it quacks like a duck and if it walks like a duck then it must be a duck. So based on the actions or based on the variables only, we are deciding whether it is or which object it is like that. So this is simple understanding of duck typing. Unlike other uh, languages, we don't have any, I mean, forcefully or strongly typing methods. So that's all about duct typing. Thanks all for watching and subscribe my channel. Thank you.